Hello and welcome back to the Internal Library Meditation Series. If you'd like to skip this introduction, the meditation will start at the one minute mark. Locate yourself somewhere where you're unlikely to be disturbed, and when you hear the bell, the practice has begun. You'll hear today's consideration, followed by long periods of silence, during which time I'll occasionally check in to remind you of the practice. I'll let you know when we've reached the final minute, and when you hear the bell for the second time, the practice has ended. As always, these meditations are free for everyone. I don't ever want a lack of money to stand in anyone's way of their cultivation of focus, presence, and peace. But if you do feel called to make a contribution in some way, you can find PayPal and Venmo links in the description of this video. All donations are greatly appreciated. And now, on with the practice. Let's set up our posture just a bit here before we begin. Sit up straight, but not too straight. A little ease here is advised. And try rocking forward and backward a bit, making these movements smaller and smaller until you find a happy and comfortable medium. Now, do the same with your shoulders. Roll them around some, making these rolling motions smaller and smaller, until you, once again, find a happy, comfortable medium. Finally, your head. Alternate, letting your chin rise, and letting it drop. And as before, gradually reduce the range until your head finds that happy, light, comfortable medium. And for today's practice, consider the following. In Zen Buddhism, one of the foundational practices is to sit in front of a blank wall, intently focused, fully open to your experience, and to ask, in all earnestness, what is this? Here, the meditator is not simply feigning a sort of existential skepticism about whether or not walls exist. No, what the meditator is actually doing is tapping into something deep and mysterious about reality. That no matter how many ways that we divide things up with names, labels, categories, and descriptions, things remain, in some bottomless sense, mysterious. That life, existence, your very conscious being, is at base ineffable. The Tao Te Ching the spiritual text of Taoism, says overtly in its very first line, the Tao that can be named is not the eternal Tao. The name that can be named is not the eternal name. This theme can be found all over. That names, labels, categories, and descriptions, while useful, are not really what things are. What they truly are, one must experience. Let's begin.
just now. Where was your mind? Wherever it was, make a note of that. Continue with the practice. Continue, even if only for a moment, going beyond our cognitive linguistic devices. Let your awareness be like water passing through a net, unimpeded by the need to list and label and describe. For the final minute of this practice, let everything go. Give yourself a chance to fully relax. Do nothing. Just be.
thank you once again for taking time to cultivate your focus, your presence, and your peace, both for yourself and for the rest of us. Take care, and I'll see you next time.